So in this video, we'll be showing you how to ban and unban players on your Minecraft server. So basically first, I'll be showing you the vanilla ban system and later on I'll be showing you plugins like advanced bans or light bans. So right now, if you want to use the vanilla system for banning players, all you have to do is just type slash ban and the player name which would be green arrow 99 and then you can add a reason so it could be something like uh, alting and as you can see uh, i've been banned from the server so now if you look at the console you'll notice that it says banned for alting over here so that's pretty much on how it works the vanilla ban system and if you want to ban someone from the console you have to do the same thing which would be ban player name and the reason so you could put the same reason which would be alting but as the player is already banned, nothing changes. So now, if you want to unban a player, you have to type slash pardon. But on console, it's just pardon. So all you have to type is pardon and the player name and enter the command and the player will be unbanned. So that's pretty much how it works with the vanilla system. So now we'll be using plugins like advanced bands or light bands. And I'll be showing you the process through that. Do know that once you add a moderation plugin, the priority system completely changes and the vanilla system just sits back so basically the new moderation plugin is in charge and it's going to be taking care of every single thing so right now let me just stop my server and i'll be uploading the advanced band plugin over here and once that's done i can go back to console and i can start the server as you can see the plugin has been loaded successfully so now i can go back to my server and now you can type slash plugins and you'll see that the plugin has been loaded over here. You can even hover over it and you'll see the version and the author name. So now the plugin pretty much works in this manner. To ban a player, all you type is slash ban and the player name and the reason. So the reason can be anything. So I could type something like slash alting and that's pretty much how it works. But for this example, I'll be showing you the temporary ban feature which advanced ban offers. So the command is pretty much just slash temp ban and then the player name and then comes the reason so you could add anything like could be one second or one minute or one month or it can even be one week so that's the whole format list you can even just go back to typing one and you'll see the whole list over here so i could just select something like 10 seconds maybe and now the next would be the reason over here so you can just continue to keep it as alting so now just press enter and it's going to say that you cannot ban this particular player that's because I'm currently op. So let's copy this particular command and let's deop myself. And let's type this command from the console. So now I'm at the console over here. So now I can just paste the command. So let me just go back with the command again. So the command is basically temp ban, then the player name, then the duration, then the reason. So now you can just enter it and you'll see that the user has been banned. So let me just go back to Minecraft and show you the new format that you'll see. So as you can see, uh, there's a whole new format over here. Previously on the vanilla ban system, all it said was you are banned. But on this particular plugin, it's going to give you a whole ban message. So it's pretty much it's going to give you a reason, a duration and a particular extra message which you can configure. So everything's up to you actually. You can configure them uh, as per your wish. But yeah, that's pretty much it on the overview. See you next time.